Hi guys, welcome back to a new video when we show you um, some scripts that we developed in uh, Google Apps. Um, and today I'd like to show you a very nice um, script that I found. I didn't um, invent it, I just uh, found it from a nice guy um, called Andrew Roberts. I will link in the description uh, to his website. Uh, and he does something really, really great in my opinion. So um, for the longest time I've had this uh, spreadsheet where I list all the names of my um, clients and their um, details of their invoices as you can see on the screen. And when I had to create an invoice I basically had to do in a very manual manner. So I had to copy the information from the sheet, uh, put it into a Google Doc or a um, Word document and then save it as a PDF. And I thought that this is one of these tasks that can be easily um, automated, automated. So that's what I uh, um, that's what I found this script and uh, I found it very interesting. You'll see a lot of different functions in there that um, you'll be able to use not just for this script but for um, other, pro other projects as well. <clears throat> so um, I'll explain to you how it works um, first of all. So um, you can see all the data that I have in my uh, Google Sheet. Um, what we'll do is we'll um, save the data that is in the row that is selected, so in row two for now. Um, but of course, if I, if I was on um, uh, row six, this is the data that will be uh, saved. Um, then what we've already prepared is a template of an invoice uh, with some placeholders. So you can see I have placeholders for um, all of the different fields that are saved um, in the uh, spreadsheet and I think the, the important part here is that your placeholder match exactly the name of your headers. So um, here I just put uh, um, a percentage sign, the name of the header and um, uh, followed by another percentage sign. So uh, let's get started. Um, as always we'll start by opening the script editor. Okay, uh, and the first thing that we want to do um, is to create this menu called create PDF uh, and with an item that say create PDF. So you see uh, my code is empty, so if I reload it at the moment, it should not show that menu. Let's just double check. Yeah, nothing comes up, so I just go on the script editor and I will create that menu. Let's see how we can do that. Uh, we need to use the function on open, so to um, let the um, program know what we want to do when we open the document. So I'll just go on spreadsheets, oops, app dot get UI dot create a menu so that's the name of the um, top menu so we call it create pdf uh, we need to add an item to that menu so item uh, the first element here is the name that will appear so again create pdf and then that's the function name so it means that once you click that item um, that's the function that will be run uh, and i will create a function called create pdf again and we'll add that to the UI. Okay, so let's just save and see what happens when I reload the sheet. Okay, so you can see that now that menu is appearing. If I click, nothing will happen though because there's no function create PDF. Okay, so that's the next step. That's what we have to create. So I have to return into my script editor. So let's create our function, function create PDF. Okay, so a few things we have to do. The first thing I'd like to do is to make a copy of that template. I do not want to edit that template because that's a template uh, and I want all the placeholder to stay like this um, 
so that I can reuse it over and over again. So I'll make a copy of that um, document to start with. So we will call it, um, we'll declare the value first, so copy file, um, and we'll do drive app that um, get file by ID. So now I need to find the ID of my template. So as always, you go into your template and you take the um, um, the string that is following the D and before edit. So all of this will be the ID of this specific document. So that's what I use here. And I will make a copy. Okay. Um, let's have a look at what happened before we go any further. So sorry. So if I run this function now, we can see that on my uh, drive uh, app, I got a copy of the template. Okay. So I just remove that. So that's the first step. The second thing is we need to um, get the ID of that um, file that has been copied, right? So what is the ID? We know how to do that. So that would be copy file that gets ID. Okay, so now we store the ID. We also need to um, open that document now. So copy doc. In, so we'll go to document app dot open by ID, and now we have the ID that we want to open. So that's copy ID. Okay. Um, so now that document is open, and I want to copy the content of that document. So I'll just call it copy body. I want to um, to save the content of the document because this is the part that we will manipulate um, later. So I just type copy doc dot get body. Um, and that first part is done. So um, now we've um, saved all of the information that we have in our template. So first we made a copy of the template and then we save the information or the content of the template into a variable. So the second thing I'd like to do is to save the data that we have in this specific row and also save the data that is in the header and you'll understand why in a bit. So. Uh, I'll define my active sheet. So press it up that get active sheet. Okay. Um, I will um, also define the uh, number of column uh, that we have in this um, in the sheet. So just active sheet dot get last column so that's done i want to know um on which row um or which row i'm supposed to save right so that's what we said we said um if we select this row number two when we create the pdf it will save the data for this um row number two and then create the pdf accordingly so i need to define the index on this row correct so i will call it active row index and that will be active sheet dot get active range and get row index. So now I know on which row or uh, which row I'm supposed to save. So we'll save the data that is contained in this row. So in order to do this, so I just go on active sheet and then we'll get the range. Uh, for that um, for that row, so get branch. So we'll start um, at the active row index, uh, and in column one, the number of row that I want to save is one, and the number of column that's the number of column that we saved here. Uh, I also need to define the header. 
to save the data that's in the header, sorry. So active sheet get range again. Uh, and the header is located on the first row, first column. I only want to save one row. And the number of column is again um, the total number of column that we have here. Uh, and I will just create a column index now that will set at zero. Because what we'll do next uh, is to create a for loop. So I'll just go for. Uh, then I want my column index that we just defined at zero to run until um, it reached the length of header row. Okay. Um, and then we'll iterate by one every time the um, every time we finish one loop. And that's the um, I, I guess the, the key part of the script where you will really um, copy uh, where you will where you will replace the content of the um, document that we created so uh, of copy body by the data that is um, contained in the row. So um, we'll uh, manipulate copy body dot replace text um, and what we will search for. Uh, in the body is this placeholder that we have, right? So um, we know that the format of these placeholders is percentage plus um, header row zero, and then it's a, a multi-dimensional array. So I will um, select the um, column index in um, the um, first um, element in that array. Okay, so that uh, okay. So uh, this string here is the string that we'll be looking for in the document, and we will replace it with the active row data, right? Where we stored all the data that is it in, in in the row that we selected. So active row zero that column index. All right, so uh, that's for our for loop. So now basically what we've done, we've done, we created a copy of the template. We replaced all the data with the data that is in our row. Um, but I, there's a little bit of, um, of, let's say, cleaning up or finalization to do. So the first thing we want to do is to save that document. So um, that has been uh, replaced. So we have copy doc, which is the name of the document and we will save it and close it, okay? What I need to do next is to set a name for that um, document. So, or actually first I will create the PDF and then we will change the name. So I will call it new file um, and we'll just go into drive app dot create file um, and the the file that we want we basically want to create is copy doc dot um, get us and this is where we will define what kind of uh, how how do we want to save that file so we said that is in PDF so to save as a PDF you just need to type application slash PDF okay. Um, so the file is uh, created now. So what I need to do is rename this file in a, in, in a way that makes sense for us. So um, I will just type new file dot set name so we can rename the document as we wish. And let's make it uh, a little bit smarter than just having a generic name that will come um, over and over again. So I will call it um, invoice. Uh, but we'll add a little bit more to that. So, actually, voice. Then we will add the company name, right? So we know that the company name is saved in uh, column B. So that's the second element of the array, uh, and the array is active row. So um, that would be zero and one. 
we know that arrays are always starting with uh, the first element of an array 0, not 1. So that's uh, why we have to define it like that. And oops, sorry. And then we will also add, um, I think, the um, invoice number, which is active row zero, and I believe that should be five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's um, what we've done now. Um, but what would be nice is also to um, to remove the document that we've created, right? The, we only need the PDF, we do not need the, the Google Doc, so that's something that we should um, delete. So we would do copy file, um, set uh, trashed, and then we will set it as true. Okay, and, uh, and that's about it. I think the last thing that we could do is just set up a, an easy uh, alert in the uh, spreadsheet that basically let us know um, whether, um, the, um, whether the, the script has run properly or not, right? So I'll just go on spreadsheet app dot uh, get UI dot alert. And say, well done, your document is saved in your drive. Okay, so I think that's about it. Let's have a look and see if it runs properly. Uh, let me just check something. Yes, I think we just forgot something here. So you can see what I forgot to do actually for both active rows and uh, header row uh, is to get the values. So let's just get values. Otherwise, it's just a range. Let's see what happened and debug on the way if there's any bug. Uh, so let's just uh, click create PDF and create PDF and see what happens. Okay, looks like it worked. So let's have a look in our Google Drive. Uh, I have an invoice here and all the data is in there. So you see the date here, the uh, invoice number, the description, the company that I want to build to, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I think that's about it. So you can see there's actually um, something that we should fix and we'll um, I'll create a new video to show you how to do that. Um, in the future, but it's to basically format your data in the right uh, in the right manner. I do not want to show it in, in uh, the date in that way, so we'll have to find a way to export it. But for now, you can see that all the data has been uh, exported correctly, which is uh, great. And conclude this uh, short, well, not so short, uh, 16 or 17 minute long uh, tutorial. So. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you want to see more of that, just subscribe. Thank you.